So the play is about um, two strangers meeting in a bar and at first it doesn't all go so smoothly but there turns out to be chemistry later on down the line or they've got to work to find out that they are actually both attracted to each other. It's a mutual thing and I guess it's about the ways in which disabled people experience desire and have as much fun an able-bodied person would as well. My role is about a queer disabled woman called Eden. She's 24, she's very uh, abrupt, she's very blunt, uh, straight to the point, but she's got really cool swag. You know, her sense of dressing is out of this world. And she's very, she knows who she is. So she doesn't like stupid questions or questions to do with her disability or being patronized. She's very to the point. Uh, and I think she's quite funny as well because there's a level of sarcasm, which I can relate to because I'm quite sarcastic in real life. So I think that drew me to her. Nita is really charismatic and quite forward. Um, she's also really awkward around people that she finds attractive in, in any way. So she is definitely that person who just completely blindsides all the social cues and just once she's made her mind up, she's, she's sticking to it. <laughs> so she decides that she needs to know more about Eden, needs to spend more time with that, and that's exactly what she does. It's also a really beautiful way of just showing the different dynamics within queer love. And it's not always able-bodied, straight, cis people. Sometimes, you know, there's two queer black women who just uh, want to get to explore each other. I think what attracted me to the project as a whole, first of all, the take on sexuality itself and being disabled and being sexually active was the first thing that really drew me to the role because when people talk about sexuality, they tend to miss out disability because disabled people can have sex and people don't often talk about that. So being cast in this role for me represents representation, being seen, being heard, being able to tell our multi-faceted narratives. Um, it's like it's really beautiful to see two black women on screen, uh, two black people on screen where there is nothing but conversation and it grows into this beautiful journey of getting to know each other and just like quickly gelling. It's a story about how easy friendship can be. And I think that is something that we don't get to see black people experience on screen enough. And so I'm really, and we also don't get to see black people just getting off with each other, like after a few moments together. It's nice, because we're doing that. To have this opportunity as a disabled person, as a black person, as a woman, to portray such difference in society and and open people's eyes to like watch such a different and new and brand new thing you know and i just feel like being part of it is even bigger than i am being part of it means that people like me can see that you can talk about sexuality even if you're disabled you know who cares? And you can talk about love because love exists for us as well.